Hey, I'm David Soker, and today I'll be going through an overview of the Intersight Terraform provider. And I'll start out on the Terraform registry. You can do a search for Intersight, and hopefully easily find the Intersight provider. It has some basics on using the provider, and then also a link out to the Terraform provider repository, which is in our Cisco DevNet namespace on GitHub. Within DevNet, we have several other Intersight integrations, uh, including some example Intersight Terraform modules. And this has some basic policy profile configuration. And then one example I will walk through for IMM or Intersight Manage Mode configuration. And that's what I'll walk through next are some examples for server configuration using this module. So I've cloned that repository from GitHub and we've got some Intersight configuration files. Our main configuration file here has configuration of the provider itself, API key-based configuration, which is how I'll interact with the Intersight API. And as I go down a little bit, we also get into policy and profile configuration, and this is where I'll actually set up server profiles using the API. And we've got a set of variables defined for looking up and assigning servers back to it. We've got some examples of those out here in terms of the servers, looking those up by name and then using them to assign two profiles. And we've got a set of policies. So the Intersight Terraform provider will interact with the Intersight API to maintain the desired configuration for these policies and profiles that will be stored locally in Terraform state files. And also as we interact with the API to refresh state or do other operations, uh, the provider is ensuring that that local state and desired state match up with what's actually out on the endpoints. So I'll now walk through kind of what that looks like as we interact with Intersight to create these profiles and policies using the Terraform provider. So I'll start off with a Terraform init. And this will go pull my provider and this is using the version 1.0.0 provider. And once that's configured, now I'm ready to use Terraform. I'm going to specify a specific target here just to stay with a direct look at this boot policy as configured from Intersight. So the provider now will interact with the API, go out and get current state within Intersight. I'll scroll up a little just to show what this looks like. But for each of the server profiles I'll be in creating, uh, this is creating Intersight server profile resources, assigning uh, servers to those based on the variables I have set up, setting other attributes, and as seen this is all going to be a new apply, so all of this is a new state going into Intersight. And if I do a yes, now the provider will interact with the API, go and pull data where needed, do that server profile configuration, and create my boot precision policy. Last couple lines up there are the provider creating that boot policy. As you can see, several resources added as I go through that apply. A Terraform show will now show that current state as configured from these local configuration files. Let's scroll up a little bit here to catch that boot policy. So I have numerous profiles in use. Apologies for the scrolling here as I find the uh, boot policy configuration. And then I've got that I am in boot policy, precision boot policy configuration. And this is a simple one with just a local disk and vMedia boot target. Uh, but those have been configured and stored in my local Terraform state. So if I go run that apply again, this will be comparing that desired state. It shouldn't have any changes. It does refresh state against the API. And as shown there, uh, nothing needed, nothing has changed on the endpoint. So it has pulled that state compared my plan with the desired state based on what Terraform is tracking locally, and then what's out on the endpoint. 
No change is needed, so that apply does not require any action. For additional information, please visit intersight.com slash help. There's also a lot more resources out at developer.cisco.com. Thank you for the time.